it's a, a cheap antibiotic that can be used um, over the long term with really very good tolerance and um, we really felt that given its promise there would be other reasons why it could be a very promising treatment and that would be that it was inexpensive um, safe and well tolerated and already on the market so there wouldn't be any delays um, if we could demonstrate that it was effective. Um, it's available in many generic forms. It's used for treating a variety of infections, particularly um, respiratory infections. And it's very well tolerated and has, is used over the long term for treating acne and rosacea. So, common skin conditions. So it has a pretty long track record of use in for chronic conditions. Now how we got to looking at minocycline for the purposes of treating multiple sclerosis um, was that my colleague Dr. Wee Yong was doing research understanding the underlying mechanisms of multiple sclerosis. And one of the things that he was studying was the mechanisms of uh, how these inflammatory cells get from the bloodstream into the brain because there's a barrier there that we call the blood-brain barrier that prevents things in the bloodstream from crossing into the brain unless there are signals or breakdown of that barrier. And one of the things that he found that was important was an enzyme called matrix metalloprotease 9, which played an important role in breaking down that barrier between the bloodstream and the brain. And one of the newer drugs available, interferon beta, one of its mechanisms of action was to inhibit this matrix metalloprotease 9 such that the white blood cells couldn't get as easily into the brain. And he was um, exploring this further and found that there was this drug available and on the market called minocycline that had been reported to inhibit matrix metalloprotease 9. So he went through some early, early investigations to confirm that that was indeed the case got a pilot grant from the Multiple Sclerosis Society of Canada and demonstrated that it not only prevented the blood cells from getting into the brain, but in an animal model of MS, when minocycline was used, that the disease severity was much less than in animals that did not get minocycline. So we went from there and um, the rest is, is history, I guess.